Thought I'd make a quick video showing the luggage mods and accessories that I've put on my Kawasaki Z400 so far. I've been riding it for about 3 weeks. Starting with the most recent, you guys have probably heard me complain about the lack of wind protection and I got this windshield from Pooj, if that's how you say that. And it actually sits right on top of the original windshield so you can see that it's much much taller and this makes a huge difference when I'm riding. I actually kept the stickers on because I wasn't sure if I was going to keep it or not but just from the short ride up here it made a massive difference so I'm definitely keeping that. I did find that it kind of deflected the wind up towards my neck and the lower part of my face so I'm going to get a buff that I can wear just to cover that area and keep me a little bit warmer. Next I have some RNG frame sliders and I had them fit these before I even bought the bike. Like I said in my first rides video there was no way I was letting this bike touch the ground without some kind of crash protection on it. They were a little bit expensive but I think it's worth it because they protect a lot of the plastics so it's worth the investment in my opinion. They stick out quite a lot as you can see so that's really going to help to keep the bike off the floor if it ever goes down which of course I hope it doesn't. I've put some Oxford tank pads on here. I did mention that I had an issue with the seat and the angle of it and I was sliding into the tank a bit and somebody recommended that I put on some tank pads to help with that and I find that my knees don't actually sit here. They actually sit further down here on this textured plastic bit but this helps because uh, the tank was getting a little bit scratched from the insides of my legs so I put these on just to protect that from scratches. I've gotten used to the seat. I find the sliding is not that much of an issue now. I don't know if it's broken in a little bit more or if I'm just a bit more comfortable with the seating position but I find that that's, that's quite comfortable now. I did have Kawasaki lower the bike by 40 millimeters or 1.6 inches and I found that at stock height I could tiptoe the bike but I just liked it to be a little bit lower so I had more grip on my feet especially when I'm reversing the bike and stuff like that it really helps to have that extra bit of traction. You can probably tell that the bike is filthy at the minute it does really need a wash. In terms of luggage, I didn't really want anything too expensive because I wasn't sure what I wanted. I knew that I didn't want a top box like on my old bike because I think they just look kind of ugly and it, it would have ruined the look of the bike. I definitely wanted some soft luggage and I just grabbed this off of eBay for like £15 or something. And it does quite well, it's an Oxford uh, tail bag. But I find that it moves around quite a lot, so I strap it down with some rock straps over the top and that just helps to stabilise it. This is a little bit loose at the minute. But especially when it's heavy and when it's expanded it just moves around way too much when i go on some longer trips i'm going to use the rock straps to strap a duffel bag over the back um, and i've already bought a duffel bag so stay tuned for my review of that my bike got a wash a few days after this and i noticed that the bungee cords had actually scratched off bits of my paint which i was really gutted about so i've taken the bungees out since and i just secure it with the rock straps now this bike has these luggage hooks for you to be able to strap things down to it like bungees or rock straps and i find that that really helps I haven't done a towel tidy yet, I actually think it doesn't look too bad with the stock fender here. You could probably make it look better if you stuck a towel tidy on it, but that's not really a priority for me. I do really want to put an exhaust on this bike. I found one that I liked, I think it was an SC Project one or something, um, but it was quite expensive, so I'm not going to get that just yet. There were some cheaper ones from Delkovic and GR Moto, I think, um, but I wasn't sure how they sounded, I couldn't find any videos online. So I don't really want to get a cheap one, that's not what I want, I'd rather just save up and get the one that I really want. So I haven't changed that yet, but yeah, that's going to go at some point. Heated grips, I haven't put these on yet, but I definitely want to, I'm actually going to get those uh, very soon, and I'm going to have a shop fit them for me. I did look at videos of how to fit them, it doesn't look too hard, but I'd rather them just do it, and then at least if they scratch something or damage something, they can pay to fix it. Just nice to have that little bit of assurance. Especially since I plan on commuting on this bike, that's why I stuck the windshield on. I find that when it gets cold, it is a big issue for me, so the heated grips will hopefully help with that and I don't have to wear my big thick winter gloves. I was looking at getting some of those handlebar muffs that you see on scooters, but I don't know, they look kind of ugly. They would be really good for commuting, but they weren't easy to put on and off. So I wanted to put them on when it was cold or raining and take them off afterwards, but it's not that easy to do that. So I'm just gonna stick with the heat grips and the windshield and some winter gloves. You might remember that I said the mirrors were almost useless and I could barely see out of them. That's still true, I still haven't put the mirror risers on them yet. I am getting a bit more used to it, but I find that I can see fairly well out of the right one, but the left one is just almost useless, I can just see my shoulder and that's it. Um, I'm not sure why, I did ask Kawasaki if that mirror was okay, if it was bent or something, and they said it was fine, but I might still grab a mirror riser for these. Other than that, I don't really have anything else planned for this bike, just the exhaust, the heated grips, and I'm going to get a tank pad that goes into middle, just to protect that from scratches. But I don't have any other cosmetic mods planned for this bike, I might not even bother with the tail tidy to be honest, and I'm still thinking about the exhaust. But let me know what you guys think, if there's anything that I should do or what you think would look cool. Stay safe and I'll see you in the next one.